Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. There's a lot of garden in there. There really is. A lot of pumpkins. Let's see if we can actually get some pumpkins into the market this time. So we're in September, October. They start to clear their own personal gardens. All of the crops came in except the last part of this one. So doing fine. You're still hiring a whole bunch of people. So not short on laborers now so much so that <laughs> chicken coop lady decided to go be a laborer apparently hmm um chicken coops i let's pay them 20 percent more just to make sure they stay employed and in that case that goes down let's do the same thing with the sheep just to make sure that the animal buildings, although that's, nah, that's four people. We're, we're, we're bound to get at least one person in there all the time. Okay, so that's not a thing. Cows, kind of the same thing. We're fully stocking or employing those buildings because they will possibly go out and, and mow the the grass and, and build up the hay but also I was reading that the more you have employed in here the more milk comes in that each one will then go and work on a cow and you know there's some folks have done some some experiments and found that more milk did come in when they were more when they was fully staffed so more milk coming in means more cheese and butter and and vari food variety so I think that's probably a good use of labor. So I've done the same thing with the sheep farm, though are we doing it all year long? We're just, okay, at this point, just the months for the mowing, for the, the hay production. Should we do it all year long? I guess that's the next question. Hay production continues until September. How are we doing? We are at 7,000 and 6,000 over here. And over here, we're full. Yeah, we're at 7,000 there too. Okay, so we're doing great for producing hay now. That's the system's working. Um, you are the same thing. Six months at four and, and six months at two. Maybe we'll leave it at that for the, for the moment. Though I would like to get this up and running. I did hire somebody to start stocking the place. Then we might move some, uh, some seed cattle over and get, get that going. Uh, we're in September... You will be using a fallow field, so we have through this winter. So let's not do anything until November, so that they don't accidentally run over here and jump into a field and then advance it, and all of a sudden all of my my programming is out of sync. Right now, I've got a I've taken these three fields, so these three here, and made them kind of the same pattern as, as out over there. So a a rotation of three with a fallow field in one of those at all times and then a field that does not need plowing uh, yeah no plowing that the the laborers can immediately start to sow and is out of sync with these guys later when we get this and this opened up we get six fields then we'll figure out just what to do long term but that will work for now um, I'm not gonna have them cut the trees out of these fields for a while I want these guys to start working on red axes and they won't until they work through 32 logs so they're they're fine do we want to hmm what are you guys up to <clears throat> right now there's just one and he's just in charge with right now he's chopping firewood or keeping the wood planks up so it's gonna take a while to go through all of that because well, unless we can start hauling this you are someone's taking out 2400 firewood okay so we still have our own laborers that since they're not working on the farms they are grabbing carts and hauling firewood i assume to go over here right there uh there's four people and they're all finding firewood there's 3200 firewood on its way firewood supposed to be stored over here but it's almost too much for this one place to keep up with one log and no firewood <laughs> okay yeah you guys are officially done with the, uh, the orders that I'd given you so let's grab that one 
and so we've got a pretty good path cut through this place just to just to kind of see what it's going to look like that looks good do we widen this up a bit we could kind of grab this edge right here right into there yeah we'll go that route and see what that looks like okay well that that gives them more reason to actually grab a hold of that again where are you there is the storage X's over here there are so they're still working on these and that's why it's taking them so long so let's go ahead and increase them through September as well and get this going again hire two more and that way two teams could be out grabbing logs and one can be theoretically behind cutting firewood if it will work that way anyway um yeah so we're not going to transfer do we have water out here we had water I think about that it was right here okay we've got whoa right there so water is there and just one person working here at the moment to eventually bring in the supplies but we won't do anything until November so they don't go and grab a fallow field okay well with that what is going on September is the month that honey starts to roll in and I got to looking at these houses over here they have the honey the yards were so small that they weren't able to really produce much in the way of crops so this house that was given having problems before really just has a little sliver over here and four uh, beehives so it may well be that I need to extend these out that might be something to think about let's set these for put on hold when they get done actually I reordered them I went ahead and set these up in between episodes got them all laid out in here and then I set them up by order of how many trees so you're the first one put on hold put on hold and three put you on hold let's save those three and oh I've already used the space so never mind doesn't do any good okay I was going to extend these backwards if I could and give them a little more room I don't know if I can extend that far or not let's grab a copy of you and just kind of park you right there um, F1 now place is occupied so you're freaking out there where is too long too long is right there is there a too short I don't think there is I think we have some examples of these things cutting in pretty narrow in, in some places yeah right there let's eliminate these let's do that you guys go away let's extend these and lengthen their uh, their lots give them a backyard to grow in and that'll give them more of an income I think I like that better make those houses more viable okay so in that case you are now number one two and three and all three are still on hold okay so we get those cut down next it should be these guys doing that and with all the extra helpers right now let's go ahead and add September back into into both of you too get five get two teams working get these these trees cleared out okay so over here what's up what are we doing first though we are working on this guy just to get it functioning then we were going to work on a row house to get a little more population over here and put them to work otherwise I need to get this well finally done we took the trees down we never built the well and we're starting to expand this area so I'd kind of like to get some more uh, water out here we only have one well I think about that I dropped one oh okay so the next one right there yeah there was no well in this area there's one right there and that was it so I dropped a well right over here to get built and we're getting this one built over here and they have access to the well that's over here as well uh, there this one is 
for citizens, not for production, because this one's for production over here. So they do have access, it's just a longer walk. So we're not running out of water in this area. It's just not as convenient. Okay. Um, September. Got apples sitting in there, ready to be hauled away. Um, this guy over here. Put two ladies in there and up the wages on the laborers and all the shoes are here now. Warm clothes. Everything is in this area that I was supposed to hit that for take from other warehouses. Though I think they came here on their own because I just deleted the line item up there. Um, so you guys are all gathering from other. This is the central market. The central storage area now. Markets and warehouses. So you, I don't really have an answer. Ah, oh, you're just sitting there. Okay. But you're not a line item, so that means you're available to be taken. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so what does it look like up in here? Construction and iron mine is done. We'll go take a look at that. Um, so we just made another hundred and they're all being taken away. Okay. Um, over in there, there are no clothes left and there's no workers left because it's September. So August, September has been, for us, traditionally, the two months everyone's laid off to be able to help with the harvest. But right now we have enough people to do that. So let's take you to one during that time. Okay. And over here, four workers. We must have just rolled through. Now, <clears throat> Weaver's Workshop. You've been waiting all this time to get workers. Because, what, are we paying the laborers much better? We're not. They just want to be laborers instead of workers. Interesting. I thought we just rolled through a month, but we didn't. Anyway, you are doing hemp, flax, textile... Okay, all of all of those sort of items. You're doing the tannery and slaughterhouse items. Okay, just refreshing my memory. These are all gone. Uh, where is that? There. Two left over here. Kind of take an inventory of the carts once in a while. Half used there. All of them available there. So we have enough carts for our use over there. Over here, there's two left. And over here, there's one left and one being returned. Nope, one left. All right, over here, how are the cart's doing? One cart in there. Just had these done. They're all still available. And three left in there. So it looks like carts are good on this side now. And firewood is still being brought over. Did we get any made? We are making now. We have a crew of five. You guys are getting a log. So one set is getting a log and one is making firewood. And 2,500 at a time. Great. <clears throat> you guys are doing what? One person and you're maintaining firewood. Okay. I think I've got a handle on all that. We're heading into October. They're going to be taking all the gardens down. Let's speed things up. Um, had a trader, a merchant, come in and just... Hmm, I guess I did do a few things. This was in between episodes, so... Uh, child has been born, construct and finish on a well. So that's all handled and taken care of. A suggestion came in that... Well, first of all, are we going to be doing any kind of a... Uh, wooden bridge soon so we can see it? And my thought was to, of course, come off of this road right here when we expand across. But... It was also suggested we think about maybe replacing the main bridge. And that might be kind of a nice place to see this big old stone bridge right here. I wouldn't want to do it right now. We've got too much else going on, but that would be a candidate to replace. If we did that, we'd have to shunt traffic through here for quite a long time while that happened and we've got a backup over here but yeah I think that should be have the honor of being the first stone bridge I think so definitely have a lot of stone available right it's still 7800 there and we've still got 45 in there and, and adding to it okay gardens are clearing out how are we doing in here wow a lot of goods coming in yeah love to see that Hey, we've got pumpkins. 
<laughs> so how quickly are you guys getting yeah there's a bunch of zeros meaning they're on their way in okay getting the orders uh we moved pumpkin into this one this one last time and we got pumpkin coming in here too great and carrots are coming and going we've got sunflower oil over here still plenty of storage capacity left all of my coins are marked and everything's looking good there too stone well is done which means we're moving into the the row house with the the carriage pass through in it as the boat passes through our bridge <laughs> all right so here is the first iron mine we can do a thousand at a time and hire up to five people let's hire two um let's just do that and see what happens just to see who's willing to make the trip and get a little bit of iron ore in see what the minimum requirement is to get this guy spending one time I don't know if it's 50 or 100 or how that works i don't see a way to set a batch size um, anything else we can set here? How much iron ore we want stored here and how much charcoal we want stored here? Okay. Let's throw in one person. I can do laborers. Okay. Um, there we are. Labor by cart. We could do that. And you don't ha wouldn't have that option, would you? I guess you would. But what can be stored here? Wood. Oh, we've got to put up timbers as we dig into our skinny little mountain here. I assume they're going to dig down. Yeah, that must be it. <laughs> okay, so sure, we'll set that up and just let that run for a little while. And I don't know if we'll keep it yet until we've gotten a little more, you know, a little further into our row house system and our, and our central market system. But it'd be nice to at least start experimenting with it. Okay, so apples are not sitting here anymore. Cherries should long be done and gone, and yeah, they're probably not even in the, the markets anymore. No, they're all finished. Okay. Um, did we get cleaned up over here? Everything's out of the field. Looks good over there. We're into October now, so at the end of October, we should see the cows move in, and then we'll start to transfer some cows over to the other side and uh, make that happen. So you are bringing mead? You're bringing mead. Perfect. Anybody employed to go and unload that boat? Yep. Or they they might be offended by that. It's a ship. Yes. You are what? You're buying our sunflower oil. Great. And you are buying our apples. So what was the order? Apples are 2877 of. Okay. So you're yet another boat? No, you can take the whole thing. Not a thousand at a time. All right. So slow you down. Who is this? Uh, Marifa. Okay. Marifa likes our salt. And in town, we're in great shape. So let's go ahead and deal with that one. Uh, they want our sunflower lime dried oils. Oh, oils are good. Let's bring in... Actually, oils are working really good now. Um, sunflower. We got 1,600 in town, so we can do 2,000 and have still plenty for ourselves afterward. So sunflower oil right there, 2,000. And temporary you, it should be sitting over here. Sunflower, a bunch of it is, otherwise it's sitting up there. Okay, and lots of laborers are signed up to, uh, to go and help bring all the stuff in. Great. So, um, Marifa, sunflower oil, right there, 2,000. And deal. Buckwheat flour. Eh, well, what's the age of our flour? I guess I get to look at it that way. Anything sitting over here? Flour, most of it is. And we're actually good for a while. Let's hang on to it. Where are we at? at 9400 so we're good in that regard um what else does marifa deal with here and you're the only one that's in town right now yeah symbols lit there no longer a symbol over this one okay so you would sell us horses honey 
hemp right now. We just brought in two fields worth yet. We've only got 900 because we have four people over there making product. Maybe that's a little aggressive. Is it, are we going to overwhelm this warehouse soon? So, textile. Yeah, well, we've got a ways to go. We're pretty full over here. We're making textile, moving it into here. Hmm. I guess it's working. Okay. So we're using up the hemp fast. Uh, flax, we've got a lot of, though. Come on, click. There you go. Oh, there's 1,800 in there. But in town, hemp, there's only 900. Okay. So that's not a, the full picture. I got it. Okay. So one last chance for Marefa. You buying from you then. Um, nothing we need to buy. And nothing more that you want to buy from us. Yeah. So eventually we could be selling them some iron. Okay. So you're done. Autumn is definitely coming in. You can see the, the leaves all changing. Um... You are telling me what? Not enough iron ore. So you have brought over the charcoal and you can go away for now. Don't need you. You have not hired. And that may be a thing for some time. This may be too far away to gather the interest of many people who are maybe working here and here already. And so not interested. Tallow is being brought over no we've just finished okay so we aren't making tallow fast enough still okay so let's thin this down even further um let's take december off we'll go for four months a year based on the amount of tallow we're actually producing at this point so that's fine and although right now i don't need you but i don't want to throw the schedule off it's, it's almost over. Okay. So everything is in. I'm guessing so. We've hauled a lot of it away. All into there. Um, no more up arrows. So nobody else is trying. Well, we got some more cabbage on its way. Um, let's pop over here. See how you guys are doing. Um, we've still got some more sunflower oil coming in. So you are going to get that personally. Good. And over here same thing so some flower 300 in there 300 is leaving perfect um, everything else is fine so the main one over here we've got in this month now we're two on all the time so they can continue to bring it yeah and by not doing it too fast there's still a possibility that a market stall lady will come and grab the last of these onions before they're bad. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good here. Peas we've overwhelmed with. Too bad there's no way to sell peas to anybody else. Um, let's go ahead and make you 4,000. That is a guaranteed food to have in stock. Since we can't sell it in our central storage area for whatever markets hit in the future that's yeah, kind of like honey or or what have you salt it'll all store indefinitely i did take these down to just two people in the salt mine because we're making it faster that we can sell it or use it um we are into november the sheep have not come in but the cows have and have not oh one year they came in november 1st and then the next year the cows came in, the sheep didn't. This time the cows have not and the sheep have not. So there must be a random number generator associated with that. So it's not always the same. Must be. Unless it has something to do with... Nah, because this one didn't har sow or harvest. So nothing to do with how much time they've been in the field. Huh. I don't know what that is. Well, let's speed it up again until... An idea comes to me as to what I should be looking at next. We'll stare at this for a little while. <laughs> so we're taking down houses. I can peek at that real quick. So two trees left and we'll get that house built. And then six trees and ten trees. Okay. Um, I'm curious how our log situa 
which one is it over here? So 50's down to 45, okay. So another two or three episodes and that will be functioning again. You guys are chopping trees and waiting for a partner to go chop trees. So you're going to have to finish these guys before you do anything. You are heading to where? Which ones did I do first? Was it... So you've done all the ones over here by the school. Okay, that's been cleared out. Now you're clearing the pathways over here. Just try, I wanted to see this area a little bit better. And actually, when I rebuild these three houses, I could take them a little further over and right up along this and not have this big opening. Okay. Yeah, I can expand these guys. Um, and then just make the pathway wrap around the school and come down into here. Yeah, we can gain a little real estate back. Okay, I like that. Otherwise, they'll come over here and come down. So there could be eventually a house right over here to kind of form the sides of this roadway. Maybe a couple of them in here. You leave a pathway up like that. Yep. As the town grows, it kind of shapes itself. Um, I threw a bunch of more graves into here. Future proofing. And kind of got everything lined up best that I could. I did realign the walls over here a bit. So I see I'm still off a little bit there, but that it looks better than it did. And yeah, I think so. And I do like this, although the question had come up at one point. How about that other new fence? Seems to me that other new fence was pretty much solid. So it would be like hiding what's inside. I didn't think that worked for a church. It just didn't make sense to, uh, you know, to, to block this thing. Let's pull out of that and get down. I can't get any lower, can I? So from this side, it's pretty much a solid fence. I mean, it, it looks very similar in architecture, but it just felt weird to seal off and make invisible what's hiding on the other, inside the churchyard. I don't know, it just didn't seem. Uh, which one did I delete? That one, yeah. The picket fence doesn't really work for me either. It feels more like a house fence. It doesn't feel, you know, official or regal enough. We've been using this one, which I've kind of adopted as our, um, I don't know, public or government fence, you know, associated with the markets, the public markets in the, the town hall. This one should probably be changed to match that as well. And around all sides of this, except we've got housing I can't change. But yeah, I think this fence should probably work its way through the rest of the area over here. What did I do over here? Was it three rail or was it that one? Where am I? Uh, here. I used the picket fence over here. So I guess there is no certain system used. The picket fence was around the school and I think I just continued with that look when I went around and created the market. I think that's what it was. Okay, um, question I had long ago, are we starting to, we're at 12 years now on, on these trees, at what point do these trees get chopped down and replaced? So if any of you know that answer, is it a certain definite year or is it like the, how long the cows live, which by the way, they've lived a long time so far, you know, just kind of random, 16 and 15 to 16 years old now. Um, that's the oldest, yeah. So 15 and 16 over here. Over here we were two or three years younger. 14, 12, 12, 12. Okay. We are into November. Let's go ahead. I saved one bowl to transfer over. We've got one. I got no workers over here, but we do have food. Let's go ahead and set. Yeah, let's go ahead and just move over the orders. Apply to all. And you apply to all. Okay. And let's move this one bowl, two years old, into here. And let's give you two of the older cows. Save the four oxen. Uh, two ox there. I guess I didn't set them yet. Or, oh, that's right. That's right. I did put in an order to give me an ox over here. I got, I remembered this time to put supply for ox. That means the carpenters got them. 
There you are. I knew there was another set of two. Can I click on you from here? I probably cannot. Yeah, nothing I can do. I can't interact with you right now. Okay, so there's a set of two. There's another set of two. And I figured that probably... Which ones? Probably these two would be the next set of two as they cross through the one-year mark. Okay, so 18... Let's go ahead and move um, some younger ones. Cow of one month. Sure, we'll move you into that one. And we'll move one more cow of five months into there. So that gets us probably going to end up around 13. There we go. And you're going to end up with at least... I don't know if it's seven or not. Got to wait and see this. How many... How many legs are underneath these two cows? No, it's just the two. Though the two are going to become five or something like that when this hits. Four. Okay. So the two represented all of them. So one bowl and actually five. So one bowl and four cows over there. And over here, several bowls, which we'll keep and ox them out. And quite a few cows in here. So. Little by little, although breeding pairs. So how many breeding, breedable cows are in here? One year, one year, one year. So four one years, five one years. Let's move another one year into here. I don't know if one year is old enough. So we may not get any, any propagating for a little while, but that'll be fine. My goal here is to show everything. We've seen the cows, so we don't need to go... <laughs> hog wild on maxing out our cows and maxing out all of the industries that sort of thing i just want to see the game i want to see how everything works speaking of did anybody take the bait they did all right so we have you two here you are going to work and going to work we are in november we are not using seasonal hiring in the sense that we actually have anything turned off you guys are coming to work probably you as well you as well, your home's over there, and your home is over there too. Dudes, nobody over here wanted to go work in a mine. Can't blame them, but yeah. Can this dock, no income previous month, wow, reach and service these people? That I do not know. And unfortunately, I can't see their health from this screen. I have to click on each individual person to see if anybody over here is unhealthy. So, no easy way to do that. There's no way from here to see health, right? We've, we've kind of done this before. Most everybody's in the middle class right now. That's interesting. One doctor, and yeah, maybe the, uh, the tavern by now. I think they've been building up a little bit. 61, nope. Okay. So they're still fight, feeding five people. They've got Mead and Hurelka in here, and they're selling it. We're no longer providing it in the markets anywhere. Uh, you have only got butter right now. Um, yeah, no more booze in the markets over here. And I know there's... Oh, there's still Mead over here. Okay. But there isn't the other one, and you are able to get it. So you are able to grab it from here just fine. Perfect. Wheat... Um, we could move 2,000 in there instead. It's just one step closer to these guys, so it should speed things up a bit. Although it's not that much closer. But it guarantees that the farm never overloads by getting it out of here. There's 3,000 wheat over here. Um, everything has been threshed, though. So, no problem there. It'd be nice if this one linseed would leave to give us clear out a slot there. Um... What else? Speed things back up. We are building the other townhouse. It'll be fun to see that one. See how it lines up and see if I did a good job or not. <laughs> so you are still grabbing so many. 1,500 more bricks. There's 6,400 there already. Bricks are here. Yeah. So 4,100 over there. So how are we doing brick-wise? Soap works. That's not what I want. But luckily it's here. You are bricks. So we're running five. Uh, employees, we got 15,000 bricks stored in here, and you need to haul it out a little bit quicker than you are. You are doing that as we speak. 
but you're not keeping the brickworks empty enough. Though we haven't overloaded yet, but we're getting we're getting close. All right, let's put another worker into here. Give you a little bit of help. Um, laborers, we could also allow laborers by cart, and we are. You have filled though. You are charcoal. Okay, so that doesn't really mean anything. Okay, so yeah, there's charcoal sitting out here in there, and there's charcoal up over here for these folks. And there's 600 of it, and 600 just arrived. So it's enough to keep you guys going. 600 sitting in here. 1600 sitting over here. You guys are using charcoal now too. You got 800 over here. So are you able to? We got two workers. So as long as they're actually working, you are taking a rest. Okay. You were dropping off a cart somewhere. So you had to go all the way down here to get a cart? Well, I guess at that moment, they were all gone. Interesting. That's kind of annoying. <clears throat> hmm. You are doing what for carts? you got all of them sitting over here, but they are randomly using them too. Is there any reason to put in one more cart parking up in this area? Snow is hitting. Um, if we did, then where? Curious if one would fit right next to this at this angle. Like so. That's kind of an idea. I mean, it looks natural. So, right there, you actually line up perfectly with the fence. Until you almost touch and you're within the fence line. Let's do that. <clears throat> okay. You can be after that row house. We have a house ready to build. Oh, nice. Okay. So, that's probably next episode's challenge. Get these three houses done. You have got four trees left, and you'll be ready to build. So yeah, I think we will swap out these three houses, these three families, with these next three houses, and then extend and, and make these too tiny to really function lots work better by extending them out. I think that's a wise move there. Um, running fast pause, Balaklia has been sitting there waiting for me. Um, go back there. <laughs> and let's see here. We can buy cows from them. We are at 10,000 gold right now. Yeah, we could. Um, cows and bulls were all... Now, can I choose where they go? Actually, I don't know that. Um... I guess I just have to distribute them later, huh? Okay. Um, they were all the same price, if I remember right. I think they were price per unit, 40. Zero. Price per unit. And price per unit. Yeah, there's 40, 40, 80. Okay. So we could get four oxen all ready to go. They'll be coming in then at one year old, I'm assuming. And two more bowls ready to go and because we could have a quick die off of two farms all at the same time it's very possible and then five cows we'll do six and just see where they land okay so you guys go ahead and do that we good we did buy them and not sold them okay that's even better um pigs iron iron we could essentially be making our own here real soon there's still 500 in stock so maybe we'll do that we'll go check up on them in a moment uh, i've got five days left yeah so we we'll turn you on to one speed all right buying from you horses sheep lime what does a sheep cost you cost 35 compared to the equivalent in well you don't do the sheep uh, skins Okay, I would imagine it's too expensive to buy sheep just to get the tallow and sheepskins and meat. Lime, charcoal, nails, stone. Um, eventually we'll be buying stone, but we don't need to deal with that right now. Selling, flour, we're still in that 500 range. So we are using it about as fast as we're making it. I think that's what that means. The flour sitting here is starting to degrade though. Ah, let's leave that alone. We still have two workers in each. We do. 
It's still being moved in and processed. We're just starting to use it quite a bit more. More people. Where are we at? Still not at the 300 mark. We've actually lost a little bit. Yeah. And I haven't checked. Do we? We still don't have a, a priest. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Um, we're, we are here. So, flower or not? Let's let it sit one more trade. See how that goes. Then we will sell it all off and kind of clean out the inventory. So, you guys want to sell to... No, you want to buy. Uh, no more dried fish. And we actually bought some in between episodes just to give us food variety. Because we're not making our own right now. Sunflower oil is doing great. So, let's move 2,000 more. You buy 1236. Okay, deal. And sunflower oil... Where are you? Down there, 1236. And get that one coming, temporary you. And suddenly we got folks interested in working, okay. Um, you also want to buy clothes, sallow, textile, leather, metal parts, horse tack. Um, we do have some horse tack sitting around. Now, is it one horse tack per horse when you start to bring horses in? You would think that it would be one warm clothes per person, but turns out it's actually what several per level in order to really advance them through this chain of five of five. So is horse tax similar? It takes multiple horse tax to make a horse work and to maintain a horse? I don't know. Do we want to hang on to our 74 horse tack for any reason? We can always make, make it again. We could. Let's keep 20. So 54 is available for sale. To these guys who are leaving in two days. Horse tack, you will take 51. Let's go ahead and do that deal. And let's move 51 horse tack into here. You are right there. 51. And temporary you. Okay. More people are jumping and saying, hey, I'll help with that. So you guys are all doing that. You are needing lumber. No wood for mine. There's no wood left in here? Wood, 7,000. So it's available. Just got to get someone to go over there and do it. And we did turn on laborers by cart, so that is possible if someone wants to work out here this far. Otherwise, you... Oh, there we go. Let's try that again. Yeah, laborer by cart. So you guys are buying food and working. And working means you're probably not doing anything until you get more wood. Huh. Otherwise, we need you probably employed again, just to see if you go and get that, that ore and start bringing it in. Okay. Um, kick the speed back up. We're in the middle of December. How are we in regard to getting everything moved out of these two? Still quite a bit of product there. And actually, going to be running it out of lifespan soon. So I guess these really do need to be kicked up. Maybe kicked up for certain months. Well, kind of hard to do that. Unless we take you down to one for off months and four for on months. Okay. And then change the on and off months. Hmm. Which means I don't need you for there, but after September... September, October, November, December. The rest will be ones, the rest will be twos. Okay, we'll go that route. So for these four months, there's four people bringing in everything that they can. And I need to do that manually. So let's, I don't want the other ones to start doing that as well. So right here, and two and four and turn off all of these so just these are four everything else will be two so we have four people here grabbing as much product from the other ones as possible same thing here and they were all available to do it and they should grab carts which means we're going to empty these carts out real quick for these ladies at least we should taking a rest they're all taking rests <laughs> okay supplying resources you have a cart Taking a rest. They're all taking rests. Yeah. Yeah, Cathra wrote in once and said, if I had a nickel for every time you said the words taking a rest. Yeah, I get it. 
I get it. Okay, so you are waiting for, are you doing something about it? No, you're taking your rest. <laughs> okay, you're bringing in lumber, and we got enough now. Infinite ore, and yeah, 500 is in, so we're functioning again. That was you, and working. So do we need a cart shed over here? That's kind of a hard one to call. They're either going to come over here, grab a grab a cart, go over there and get what they need, come back over here, dump it off, then drop off the cart, and then go take a rest. Or they're going to go over there, grab a cart, come over and fill it up, come over here, drop off what they need, go over there, drop off the cart, and then go home. So it's kind of the same distance either way. So I don't know that there's really a problem. You are up here and full of storage. Because you are... Full of what? You're making very little bark. Mostly you're making way too much firewood. Um, but we got five guys and you're bringing in logs. Theoretically. You're waiting for someone. You're buying food. So waiting for a partner. And you've given up and you're taking a rest too. Yeah. Everyone's taking a rest. So the game is definitely weighted toward time off more so than work on. Yeah, they spend more time not working than working. You are supplying resources. Mm, you are going all the way out there to get it because a laborer did not decide to do just that. Do I boost you just a little bit to see if someone else will help? Possible. Yeah, otherwise, carts in this area, we still have them. And still have them. That was... Uh, whoa. Oh, row house completed. Okay. We're done here. So, looks like I threaded the needle pretty good there. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so you are four apartments. Interesting. I thought it would lose one because of the carriage pass through there. I thought we'd have only one here and two up above. So we got four apartments out of that. Good. And we got four row houses. And we have a market that still has stuff in stock. We're not overwhelming it. We got a lot of stuff in stock. Okay. Yeah, we're sitting pretty good here. So wait, what was with you then? Oh, so four out of eight. So we don't have mutton. That's, yeah, kind of random when that happens. We're not doing any butchering right now of anything. Okay. So chicken and eggs. And the fish are not a thing anymore and dried fish is okay butter is once in a while salo is when i buy it okay all right so that's working out well these guys are still eating and so we've got to set up a central market somewhere over there whether that happens just yes uh, just now i don't know probably not until we get working over here on the central market Okay, so the next goals are probably the housing in here, which is being worked on. You are a fishing dock, which won't happen until Hotfix 3. So for those of you who don't have the game, right down here, I don't want to get too close or I'll start to scroll. Um, we are in version 0.5.5.2. Hotfix 2, I think, is what caused the problems. It supposedly fixed the fishing dock problem. I, we never really had that one that I know of, but I did have someone write in and say even after that their fishing docks weren't working. It was still crashing the game, so maybe it mostly fixed it. But I think that probably is about when the cart shed problem started up. So Hotfix 3 hopefully will track down all of that and you know squash all those bugs. You have married and moved into here, so we are kind of cleaning out our uh, huh, pause we're cleaning out our young folks that need to marry but they're taking a long time to do that so I take it that Maria just turned 18 and qualified and so that happened so we could still move somebody over to here how about the family that is the poorest You've got 73, you've got 33, you've got 71. What if you guys moved to here? Is that a thing? Relocating. It is a thing. 
In which case, you are now on hold. Actually, you can be demolished and move you into next. Get you demolished. And then as these other ones build, we will do the same thing and demolish all three of these. And then send you down the hill. Now, it's quite a drop in the slope. So in this case, you would want your house right up where they are right now, but their garden will continue down the slope. So into the unbuildable areas, but I doubt anything would build right in here. That's why we put the fields in here. It was just too steep to handle it. Okay, so get you running again. Someone is officially moved into here now. Yep. And you're officially moved out of here now. And so that means the honey went away as well. Okay, now you're moving all of your goods to here and I don't remember which one you are you'd be the one with all the honey so that's probably you right there okay 33 yeah so you now have a much smaller payment you don't owe land taxes anymore so 30 cents a month or what was that 30 cents a month coming out of for your village house rent so you get to be rich now yeah, though you're going to have to spend more money on your food variety. Though you weren't spending, I mean, you, you weren't gaining that much anyway because we just didn't have more than four beehives and a little strip of, 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 uh, of crops, and that was it. Okay, so if you're going to do a little one, leave enough room on at least two sides to put in some, some gardens. These right here just didn't leave enough room on any of the sides you know it just there was only a little bit of space so you got to sink this guy into the corner and give more room and on at least two of the sides if you want to do a little lot and I still think a little lot is better than no lot at all than just a house at least you get if you do it right at least you get you know a crop on out of part of it so, yeah, these would have been better off to one side and got two big sides out of it rather than a couple of little strips here and there. Dirkachi, what can we sell to you? Dirkachi likes our charcoal. How are we doing? Yeah, there's always about 20,000 charcoal in there when we, we sell to them. So, pause a second. Oh, I can't. I can't. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm going to take the chance here. I only have 10 in stock. I'm going to sell them the 1138. I think by the time the first 1,000 leaves, we're going to get laborers hired to start bringing another 1,000 back in to fill that, in, fill that in. So I'm going to say yes, and I'm not going to alter anything. So you're there, and get you going again. We're into January. We're at 55 minutes, I think. Depends on how, if anything, I edited out. Um, so let's just go through the shoes. Let's sell. We're making shoes really well now. How are we on leather for the town? Uh, right there, leather. Where are you? We're 1,500. So shoes have no reason to stop production. So let's go ahead and sell off a bunch of shoes. Uh, world map, 11 more days to figure it out. Shoes, you will take 39. We have 14. So let's sell 1,000 shoes. And let's move 1,000 shoes into here. All right there. And temporary you. And we could, now that it's functioning properly, start leaving some shoes in here. Still hesitant though. Because if I went to sell more, there's only 400 in town now. And if I had 1,000 here, then yeah. I'll, I'll keep doing it my way. I, I like that. That was suggested early on in this series, and I, I like that suggestion. That works out really well. You also want to buy from us sunflower oil. Wow. Do we? We don't still have a trade of some kind going on, do we? No, they're all taken care of. So, yeah, once you get the, uh, the sunflowers out of the oil shop over there or the the sunflower oil out of there and let them just keep working it gets done okay then Durkachi, you want to buy 32 let's do it 32.25 deal and let's move 32.25 down into here so sunflower oil hopefully we've got the workers to pull it off 30 
3225? Uh, U3225, okay. And temporary U. We should see this start to fill up big time. And I do want to leave this at 20. If I've got something like this going on, I would love to see everybody in town come and help out. And that just guarantees our income there. And speaking of income, we need to go check the uh, the cows that supposedly arrived and figure out where they arrived. If they all dumped into the uh, the one cow shed that was already mostly full, then we've probably been doing a lot of butchering. <laughs> clothes, we're at 210. So we've never gotten ahead of the curve on clothes. Warm clothes as well, but we can't check that from here. Uh, apples, what's left? 2,500 apples are left. Let's do... I think we will, they last a good year, and that's all the way till next July. I think we can probably eat 800 of our own, so what is that? Uh, 17? Yeah, whatever 17 leaves. 17, that's, yeah, my, my math brain just turned off. 1,700 apples and deal, and let's do that right here, 1,700. And temporary you and get that moving, which should trigger even more of these guys to jump into here. Are we done? Apples, Hroka, buying from you. Uh, leather we don't need. We have 1500 iron we don't need. Um, cows, flour, sallow, buy you. Uh, 800 this time. We're, we're emptying out our markets pretty. Uh, significantly dried fish we'll do that as well we'll buy your whole 675 and we will be able to eat it all okay so we bought those and those and potatoes we're doing good on now 2200 we actually need to sell some before they go bad okay so that is good and you guys are supposedly bringing all the stuff over we're taking our time thinking about those apples but we do have 700 shoes on their way and 400 oil on their way so that's fine i'm running nice and slow here um let's check out the coal and or the iron and we'll probably call this one done so you a lot of that's been hauled away now and brought over to here we can't work in the winter interesting yet these guys can oh i've turned them off i didn't see that pop up when everything froze and this was still running so seasonal hiring then and i'm not on the right one okay seasonal hiring and we'll turn off december january february okay so i guess we'll see that next time interesting so if i had turned this on so let's pop into here and hit that maybe i gotta wait for someone to show up but i never saw the can't work in the winter on this one even though it's a paddle wheel and ice. But it's three speed. No. Well, we'll wait till February rolls. Nope, nobody popped in. I'm not going to wait any longer. We'll leave that there, though. Just to see if we happen to randomly see that next time. But I think it's time to call this one done. You're having a lumber problem. You are having a cart problem. Thank you. You are all broken i saw in the comments something about these guys won't work no well okay i just put these in order they won't do preventative maintenance anymore that's no we're repairing a cart we are repairing them okay so that was before i did anything the cart was already brought over they are repairing them without changing the employment status over here it just that wave, that wave last time, when everything went down, everything got repaired all one after the other. So that means their lifespans are probably all going to be similar. We're just no longer evenly staggered throughout the economy right now. So we're going to have a whole bunch of hits at the same time. That's probably what's going on. Let's just pick a couple and check the... So two are down over here and three are down over here okay let's fully employ this guy for a while and let's just see how this goes so take you to one in the off season and four in the on season until we get ahead of this wave again okay 
We'll see how that works. Otherwise, any other fires to put out? Yeah, we wanted to see these. So we're at 12 over there, and we're at 16 over here. So they did bring to the least full cow shed. Good. And we've got plenty of supplies here. And at this point, I guess three workers in the off-season apply to all. And let's get the milk coming in. We've got enough in each of these now to justify. we got ox over here. We do have a couple in there. And we've got a couple over here and more possibilities over here. Okay, so just a peek over here. I assume it's going to give me a message when the cows die. But doesn't mean I'm going to notice the message. Yeah, so I do want to check it. Did you get made? You did. You're ready to go. And I think one's enough for here for now. And we've got our four and one. So there's in February four higher. So there's somebody here and ready as soon as we get there in March. Okay. Storage problems. And they'll work themselves out. And I think we're done. So with that, I'm going to call this one finished. Thanks for watching, folks. And catch you later. Bye-bye now.